Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. Uh, we're here for the, the starting 11, our prediction show for Saturday's massive, massive game. No, no, not that massive. But <laughs> <laughs> the John Big game! The, the Go USA, the, the John O'Shea <laughs> special against USA. Uh, testimonial. Testimonial. Really testimonial. Is a testimonial. Thomas well. is a testimonial, yeah. Um, look, Martin O'Neill's teams are crazy to try and predict at the best of times. We'll give it a go. I'm actually in the squad for Saturday. <laughs> you, you need to run off now for some more training, do you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no doubt we'll have the, the added bit of... <laughs> training at mid <laughs> uh, The added bonus of some quirkiness thrown in as well by our usual quirkiness uh, reporter. Uh, um, CV Murray. Starting off, and it won't be, uh, John O'Shea could be anywhere in this team now, but look, we'll start it off, keeper folks. Um, who do you think is going to be in goal? Um, will it be Doyle again? Is he going to go with the romantic and put Supple in? Or is it going to be O'Malley or someone else? Any of the both? Or, I think I what? think O'Malley's going to start, but I would love to see Supple start. Yeah, I think we all want Supple to start, yeah. but I think Doyle will play for some reason. Um, I think just in terms of like Roy Keane kind of... Is that, going, is that going to be kind of to keep the confidence after yeah. a little bit of mistake? Of yeah, because I, I know Roy Keane came out and said, well, sorry, Doyle said that Roy Keane gave him a bit of encouragement after the, the, the mistake. And I think it would just be kind of a signal to the public that, no, we're not dropping him, even though the ideal thing would be to rotate the keeper. Yeah. Yeah. It's not real. Yeah. But yeah, I, like, I, I think we all want to see Shane Tuggle. You know, he deserves it. We've spoken about it um, before. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I think we'd all like to see Shane Supple. Yeah, well, that was, uh, we, we had said before, but uh, the camera should have. <laughs> um, but the first time we did this. <laughs> um, take two. But, no, we, 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 we said, touched on it, um, about the whole romantic story of Supple. He, he quit football in 2009, came back in 2015, uh, he won the All-Ireland with Dublin, so on. Yeah, as I said, we, you could see the, the... I actually interviewed him for the show before, uh, he explains the story, uh, he goes through everything, why he quit, the reasons he quit, um, why he fell out of love with football at the time, uh, which you can check out. Uh, but anyway, it would be such a nice team to see someone for him. I think it would be a massive boost for the league as well. Actually, I don't know, we'll come to that later on, I have a, I have a good thing for, for the midfield. But anyway, um, we settled on football. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Ideally, we would like Supple to start. Nick, you think uh, O'Malley could start and bring Supple on? Uh, you are very pessimistic. I think Doyle will start. And play. Yeah, I just I can't look. You know, I think just as a signal to the public to say no, we're not dropping them. We're going to stick behind I, them, I, even I, though they don't need to do that. And also, I don't yeah. think the public really care at the moment. In, in, yeah. in some regards, they don't actually. Yeah, shows. maybe Doyle does, but no one else. Yeah, does exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Colin. His two friends. That's two friends, two fans. Ooh. I'm sure he's got plenty of friends. We'll take the shot for a captain. <laughs> yeah. Take yeah. Shovel off your um, so supple and goal, yeah. Yeah, supple and goal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, supple for me as well. Um, it's just uh, it's probably the romantic nature of the of the story, but just from following the league so much as well recently, it it just would be such a big boost, and I think it would be a boost to the whole setup really of the squad. Yeah. I think the squad could do with a little bit more interest. Yeah. Um, Best goalkeeper in the league as well. Fullbacks. Yeah, yeah we go. I'd say we go with a back four again. And would, I would imagine everyone, everyone happy. With four, four, four for two. Yeah, they're not going to play O'Shea in a, in a three at the back system. I'd be really Don't surprised. Don't really work really yeah. well now. Um, so if we're going right back, is it is it Coleman? Is it Stevens? Christie's probably not going to be involved. Stevens would play more left to be Doherty. Uh, Matt yeah, Doherty. Yeah, Matt Doherty. He came on yeah. last night. Um, didn't look at a place. Didn't look at a place. Yeah. I think good season. Um, promoted, he's going to be a Premier League player. Yeah, again. I think he deserves his chance. I um, think there's a good chance he'll start left back on Saturday with Coleman right back. But I think for the purpose of this, I'd love to see him starting right back with Coleman starting right wing. No, I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't imagine he's going to play Darty at left back. Yeah, given the options that we have, left well, back. Is, but he put him on at left back. He put him on at left back against uh, France. No, he didn't. He did. No, he brought Sean Williams on to play left back for Derek Williams. Yeah, but Darty was left back for a while. He's left back for a few minutes. Sure. Yes, I'm positive. I wouldn't be saying it. <laughs> Ooh. Did you not come on for Coleman? That's <laughs> no. <laughs> That's uh, we just let the two of us have it. Um, Paul, right, you're right back. <laughs> uh, right back. I'm going to go for Darty. Uh, as we touched on, on the uh, I think it was the match preview or the um, the final verdict against France. You looked at Duffy and you looked at kind of you know a season in the Premier League and so on. 
how much he improves. I, I'd, be, I'd like to see Doherty start and in a year's time we can kind of review on how he kind of looked after a season in the Premier League with Wolves. Mm. So I'd like to see him. I know, we all know what Coleman can do at right back. He, he's our captain. Um, you know, I just worry every time I see him play now that he might get injured. So I just want him to be rested. <laughs> um, yeah, that's me anyway. I think Dick Coleman will come on at some stage. If he doesn't start, he'll definitely have some involvement um, against the Americans. Cause, yeah. And then to centre half, who's going to partner uh, O'Shea? Bryce for me. Rice. I'd go for Rice, yeah. I'd like to see him in midfield again, but let's go from centre. Oh, sorry, I must have to think about Coleman. Is Coleman hasn't played in Dublin since he broke his leg. He hasn't played at home. He hasn't played two games away, so they might actually get into the team to kind of be like, yeah. you got to see Seamus Coleman kind of way. I do think Dr. Rudy will start. I want but he is start. that star attraction. Yeah, so maybe so, maybe Coleman, that's maybe a reason why they'll put Coleman in, but I, I don't know. That's yeah. Good. I think centre half... Um, I think it'll be Duffy. You guys are looking for rice in there beside mm-hmm. O'Shea. Yeah, yeah. I just think it'll be the it's the perfect kind of hand over the bat, and I think I think uh, Rice would learn a lot from uh, obviously the Maybe. Him in training and stuff like that. I think it would be good for for both players really just yeah. just to uh, and similar players like I mean when when O'Shea was that age, he was playing a bit in midfield. He was playing a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 I'm just worried about um, the Americans coming over. It's very young, very kind of wanting. Very pacey, um, which is kind of your typical American footballer. Um, is they you know they they want to impress. There's gonna be a lot of energy in the midfield. I think Royce might be actually a good antidote to that. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't be averse to seeing him in in centre back, but I I personally prefer to be playing in in the same role he was playing against France. But uh, yeah, I just, I'm, so who are you going with the end? Uh, Duffy, I think. Duffy, Duffy, Rice, Rice, yeah. Rice. Rice as well for, for me, ju- just for that reason. Uh, Still going. You're going to have to just clip that out. And that has to check. It's on. Yeah, no worries. You've got 12 minutes left on it. So, uh, left back. Yeah, so, just so uh, left back then. Probably yeah. one of the most uh, positions with yeah. a bit, 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 of, bit of interest, yeah, really. I, I think for the first time in a while, like Stephen Ward has just been unchallenged at left back. And we have Stevens, Williams, who played brilliant against France. We've Coningham, and then obviously Doherty uh, can play left back as well. And, and Sean Williams, apparently. Um, but I. <laughs> I um, Sean Williams I, getting married, so he's not. Yeah, there. yeah, good man, high man. But um, I'd I'd love to see I'd love to see Cunningham. I think O'Neill will start either Williams keep the faith with him, uh, um, because he played so well against France. But I think Cunningham he's not at the same level of standard as Seamus Coleman, but the same type of fullback. You know, uh, very solid, very calm, very well, modern day modern day fullback. Yeah. yeah, and again, very highly rated when he was at City as a youngster. Had injury after injury after injury, and he's finally. Um, has an opportunity to actually start um, a game, a competitive game, and I'd love to see him, even just in terms of balance of Doherty getting forward, I think Coleman getting forward and having that kind of defensive um, aspect to his game would be brilliant. But again, I think O'Neill will go for possibly Doherty, um, even though it's his weaker foot, or possibly Stevens. I think he might give Williams another run because he did so well on France, he was great against France, mm-hmm. um, that he'll kind of say, all right, well, you know, we said that this position was, was kind of open, so yeah, let's give him a try. And if he does well, there's no reason come uh, September um, when we play Wales or if we have a friendly in August that he can't say, yeah, he gets it, he gets a spot. Um, yeah, I'd like to see I'd like to see Cunningham in there. Um, I think he deserves it. I think he deserves it, but I can see Derek Williams. I wouldn't be a ver- again. I I don't really want. Mm. If I was going to pick a left back, I'd like to see Cunningham. Uh, he'd be at the top of the list. I'd actually like to see Cunningham or Stevens ahead of Williams because I know what Williams can do now. Yeah. I'd just like to see what I've never seen Stevens uh, play for Ireland um, competitively. Be interested to see what he'd be like and same with Cunningham. I'd like to see even a half each. I I'd, I'd preferably start with Cunningham. To be facing Yedlin on that side as well. He's so pacey like yeah. so yeah. Yeah. two them and, uh, and, uh, and like any slow coaches like yeah, yeah. So. Cunningham is quite pacey Williams is quite solid yeah I think Stevens could struggle but they have their handfuls because he's you know Yedlin is the most experienced player and he's going to be if he plays be but McLean, if McLean is down the left 
<laughs> yeah. Centre forward. From, from a personal point of view as well as a, as a goal man, I'm obviously going to harp on the, the Cunningham bandwagon here. Um, I think we touched on it earlier. It feels like since he had that breakthrough with City under Mancini, mm. that it's been one injury crisis after another. Yeah. And it would be, I think, I think it would be it'd be so refreshing as well to go with two young attacking fullbacks as well. Hopefully, you get a bit a breath of fresh air when you back to the team as well. But yeah, Cunningham will get my vote as well. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Moving in, into midfield, will, will we start with the wingers or will we start with the centre centre mids? I think I think it'll be two, and I think after it'll be Arthur and if if we're saying Rice is centre back, it'll be Arthur and Myler. They came on the day, mm. had um, you know to put a lot of um, it brought a lot of intensity that was kind of lacking with Brown uh, and. And Myler has that kind of authority on the ball as well. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of him, but he, has, he does have authority on the ball. He's one of the senior players now in the squad. And if we say we're going with two young attacking fullbacks, I think we will need a Myler figure probably yeah. in there, probably even just to sit at times while yeah. we push on or whatever. It's not just cover either fullback exactly, position when yeah. someone goes forward. Yeah. Arthur came on the other day and he was like just harrying everyone because he's so keen and eager because he didn't have a good season and he wants people to. He had, a, he had a terrible game against a uh, first half against Denmark, um, and he, he really wants to show people that, and like that nutmeg that that happened for their first goal is haunts his dreams, and he really wants to show people that he he is worth his place. So I think it, it'll be Arthur. I think he'll be up in the faces of of these American players. Um, yeah, well, you said earlier with the with the energy that's in midfield. I think that'd be our answer to it. I think yeah. that that'll be. Be good to have him in there doing that. Um, is there any update on it? Jeff Hendrick? Is he? He's a, some kind of back injury. And yeah. I think he was going to link up with the squad, but obviously he'd have to be assessed. But right. he has been with the squad. Will we take it. He's not playing. Yeah. Like I, I'd love to see him starting that kind of deep lying role that he does for Burnley, ideally. And I think O'Neill's going to play in there going forward. But I'd be surprised. I just can't see rise. him playing on Saturday. Yeah. I, it I'd seems too much to risk for yeah. the season. Yeah, yeah I agree. Right, so we are, uh, since I think we're, we're kind of settled on Myler and Arthur, are we? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, can't sure. really look past them, I mean, mm. if, you're, if you're maybe going to go with Duffy mm. and, and O'Shea maybe at, at, at the back, yeah. and have Rice in there maybe with Arthur, yeah, possibly, yeah. Uh, that could be an option, yeah. but uh, I suppose this is our, our team, so yeah. we kind of have to outvote each other. I'll <laughs> yeah. go for Myler and Arthur, I'll go on the green. Yeah, Myler and Arthur, yeah. I, think um, I agree, yeah. On the wings, uh, left wing. It's going to be... Well, I wanted to be Odeida, but it's going to be McLean. It's going to be McLean, but would love Odeida. And would like either Coleman on the right wing, just to see how he does, or even Alan Judge. What about Conor Hurrahan on the right wing? He's, it's not like he's linked back up. No, Hurrahan's not a winger. But if they're going to play, say, well, we're saying 4-4-2, but I would say that it'll be down on paper as 4-4-2, but... Diamond, Del- yeah, Leonard yeah, diamond, left hand side of a diamond, yeah, yeah, because um, Hurhan was with the squad yesterday in Paris. So yeah, it was. I would just, yeah, left hand side of a diamond would be was in the squad, would be with the squad. Yeah. Here's a, here's an interesting one for you, Coleman right back, Darty right wing, yeah, because he's played right wing back, yeah, maybe that um, that, that, that could I'd, just be a trans- yeah, in the works yeah, because he's playing very advanced Darty, you know. They I personally go. prefer it the other it, way. I don't think he's the pace. Very similar to what they did last night, where. McLean, essentially they're just replacing Colin O'Dowda. Um the, the midfield three is just changing, so you've still got Long up front, Walters on the left, McLean on the right, Arthur and uh, Myler, and then her in front of them. just don't want to see that attacking three again. Like, it's just painful. I like, I, 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 George, I'd love to see George in the number 10. Um, mm. But I think he can do a job on the right wing. He scored a scream and trained. Yeah, yeah, him. that's the thing. Like he can get on the ball. He he's confidence about him. Follows the show on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I think Matched. I think Jojo O'Dowd on the wings. That's just my opinion. Jo- like obviously, I love Coleman on the right wing, mm. and maybe Judge number ten and O'Dowd on the left wing. And mm. um, yeah. yeah, but again, Judge Judge O'Dowd, and then maybe Brown number ten. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm actually a massive, massive fan of Alan Brown. I would like to see him in there as um, the man just behind. I just the man just behind. Like, uh, obviously, he's had a very good season for Brest, Preston, but he just didn't have a good day today at all. Was that all the reason why to give him another chance? We, you know, just give him, give him another one, goal, uh, another shot. Uh, I think it's a bit of an easier game. Yes, scored a goal himself. Game true, but. I think in almost literally it was kind of a sink or swim situ- situation, um, and he sank twice. Sank twice, um, sank more than twice. You know, 
I, he, I'd love to see Alan Brown come on in the second half when the game's a bit more settled, players around him are a bit tired, and he come on and be the fresh legs and really show us what he can do. But I just felt like he was so nervous and caught up to the day that that's going to be playing on his mind. Yeah. Um, and I'd rather take him out of that situation and kind of introduce him to a game where it's, it's not flat. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit flat, not much pressure. You're going to say, right, Maybe, yeah. go and take the game by the scruff of the neck that you've been doing all mm. season, rather than going, from the very start, we want you to dictate the play, yeah, which, which I don't do. think he's, he's, he's yeah. suited for. I'd love, as I said, I'd love Coleman George Odeuda. I love Odeuda on the left. I okay. really like Coleman Odeuda, but he's going to drop So, him. and then who would you have up top? It's going to be long. Think, Long's the only recognised striker, really. Oh, unless you've Walter. I think Walter's got a bit of a knock against no, France. But, okay, but here I was, love Burke. Here was one but, I was yeah. going to say is maybe if you're going to drop Alan Brown and have Burke as your number 10. Yeah. Because he does. Yeah, because he he's, he's not a centre forward. He just he's, hangs he's, yeah. very much a yeah, 10. Yeah, he's a 10, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think Conor Her and I will get a, a run out, maybe in that position. The thing is, though, would, I'd love to see Burke play the 10, but he's probably not going to start like he did playing yeah. the dog for the evening. So. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that'd, that'd be a big game yeah. as well. Yeah. More of a chance of seeing him come on with a cameo. Yeah. Whereas I think her and has, has probably earned, uh, of all the players who haven't really had a chance, Conor Hurran has really earned a, a, a shot at playing in that position for Ireland. Playing in any position, really, for yeah, Ireland. Yeah, well, if, if, if Brown deserves it, then obviously... Um, He's 11. 11 goals this season. Like. Yeah. Well, obviously, Rohan does, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I totally agree with you. And he probably would have played, had he not played in the playoff final, he probably would have played against yeah. France. It's not a bad reason not to play. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, so I, I could see Conor Hur and Hurrahan. Uh, on that note, I'm quite delighted for Cyrus Christie because the level of abuse and racism cool. abuse he was getting. Yeah. Um, and getting moved around three times in the last year. Kind of and the two teams he moved from <laughs> to yeah, get through to the playoffs. Get through to the playoffs. Or playoff final, yeah. yeah it's so, very satisfying from. Yeah. But wanted Villa's goal from an Irish perspective. Yeah, so well, that's, I'm that's just a saying, big blow, I, I think. On a, uh, on that kind of note, mm. this is the only positive to take. Yeah, from. it's brilliant. He's a great, he's a smashing player, I think. Seems like a nice lad as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, always comes across well. Um, so, yeah, and after everything that, that's kind of gone on and people saying things about him, just not on, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, especially it's, 20, it's 2018, like. Yeah, well, there's. Oh, yeah, who acts like that in 2018? Totally agree. Yeah. But, uh, so, if we're going for our wingers, are we in agreement for who? Walters and. Well, Odell on the left. Odell on the left and. Okay. Someone on the right. <laughs> George, George or Coleman, I think, are the only two options. On I'd right. like to see George. And I think what's going to happen is it'll be McLean on the left and Odell, I'd say, on the right. <laughs> but and maybe yeah. Walters up top or Long? Long, oh, I'd say. But, but I, think, I think he's just playing Long because he wants him to break the duck. Yeah, no harm. I didn't know where you were going with that sentence for a minute. Breaks legs. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. It's like just a shame. So Burke's like, a little bit more withdrawn. And obviously he's playing right. the day before, yeah. How yeah. how how many games can Shane Long go without scoring? That's the question. Maybe he's going to set like a Guinness World Record or something. It, like, when was the last time he scored for Ireland? Moldova? Mm. Was 20... that not, uh, what's his name? 16? Um, Murphy? No, it was oh, Long scored in the first half. No, I mean the, the a game Away in game. Moldova, oh. which was in 2016. 2016. I can't remember, but if we have to pick a striker, He'd probably be a man. Yeah, is there any other striker? I don't. I think Walters yeah, looked very sluggish. Yeah, we had the case Hoven, you know. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag well, call a pat. Walters looked <laughs> Walters looked sluggish. But Hogan is Hogan linking up? If you were here, yes, he might. Yeah, I'd go for Hogan then. Oh, if Hogan's available, yeah, yeah absolutely. But I don't know if he's available. Again, as I said, I'm playing on Saturday, so I'm really looking forward to it. Making my first cap. Pick you in the team. Though. Yeah, pick me in the team, obviously. <laughs> That's shocking. B. Doctor. <laughs> yeah. You're all laughing now. <laughs> Just get there in the stadium, like, oh, he is playing. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it, it it could be any team, but that kind of makes it exciting in a way, interesting that it could be anyone that really plays. Yeah, so. yeah. So, well, I suppose we've, we've we've kind of picked it then. Uh, so we're gonna supple. Mm-hmm. Um, Doherty. Yes. Yes. Uh, Royce yeah. O'Shea. Yep. And Cunningham. Cunningham. We're all in agreement on that. Um. Two midfielders were, or three midfielders really. Barter and Myler. And then we had our number 10. Who's Judge? Jules. Yeah, the Judge. Her hand, no? And Hurran. then Judge on the right. I said Brown or Burke. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I could be, if you three agree, that's a moment of vote, so. I would say Her hand has, has earned his shot. Yeah. 
I'd like to see George get a run. All right. Round number 10, I'll go for Judge. <laughs> I'll go for Judge, I'll go for Judge. Judge. And you go for uh, Burke? Brown or Burke. Okay, well, it's going to be Judge because either way we're about it. So. He's a good number 10. <laughs> Alright, Because well, yeah. Brown's shite. <laughs> no, we're going with Judge. Brown. Oh, I don't know. Judge, I'll go for Judge. Oh, good Judge. Okay. okay, so Judge is our number 10. Yeah. And then our wingers are O'Dowda and Tata. McLean. Coleman. I'd love to see Coleman on the right wing, but I don't. Is I'd like to see McLean coming off the bench, showing that he's a very good impact sub. I think I, I think I think Odell on the right, McLean on the left. Oh, I think that as well. Mm, yeah, it's probably what he's going to go with. I think that's what it's going to be. Reluctantly, yes. Um, and then up front, uh, oh. Long or Walters. I think Long or Hogan if he's available. Okay, so Walters is out of the equation, probably bring him on as that in box over. I think he looked a bit yeah, sluggish yesterday. Yeah, I think yesterday. he picked him a knock towards the end of the game. Yeah, he looked oh, a bit I'll uncomfortable. And leave, leave yeah. him be for pre-season. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's been been our, our choice. I mean, there's been a rob of agreements and disagreements, but it's all healthy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Who uh, played in France again there? Sorry? Who played against France? <laughs> Darty play left back. Why is it that? Most <laughs> thought. William was playing goal. Is that when our TV stopped for like 10 minutes? Yeah, <laughs> our internet, or I don't know, something happened to the team. We thought it was the RTE, and we we're like, oh, they're gonna come on here and explain. Yeah, and then it was actually the screen was just frozen for 10 minutes. We and missed I the turned it off and everything. Missed the last 10 minutes of the game. The so. water pole. Yes, the water. We turned it back on, and literally everyone was like running around, like water's flying everywhere. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, let's hope we won't have that in Saturday night. Yeah. No, it's not. Well, it's supposed to be alright, I think. So, yeah, hopefully, this is it's like today. Yeah. Nice um, let us know your thoughts on uh, the start 11. If you would pick anyone different in the team, let us know. Uh, show your start 11 in, in, the, in the comments. I mean, we, we, we're always interested, especially Nick. Uh, yeah, on the Pundit Arena. And Quirky, I think, was the word you used. Yeah. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who came up with the word, weren't you? Dr. Quirky's in Korea, yeah. I think in town. Sounds like something like Yeah, say. so it was Quirky starting 11s and stuff like that, but do check them out and. Uh, yeah, follow the lads on uh, Instagram, Twitter too, and um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video as always, um, and see us at the game, come on you boys in green.